Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today, we are working on this unit right here. I started sanding her down yesterday. We're going to try to get most of the sanding done and body work done today. Get her stripped. Got to get the running boards off. The visor. Got to work on it. The boat's are loose. Got one missing there. And got to order some cab lights. Get the roof rack off. Get some body work done. We're going to get this old thing painted. It's going to take more than one day, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let me get the compressor fired up, the ODA, which I bought a new one since my old one got stolen. Got a cheap Harbor Freight unit, y'all. Baxter. So far, it's been working out pretty good. So, let's just get to it. Let's get to work. Show y'all what we got going on here. Clear coat peeling here because of the fade job it goes from silver charcoal gray to black then you got stripe up here well I'm trying to get all this clear coat off because it's gonna peel anyway we don't do not want to put fresh paint on something that's gonna peel but that was pretty back in the day but not no more probably gonna change the back doors out they both dented up pretty good I could fix them, but we got some good doors. Just had to spray the inside of them black also. The roof rack is probably going to be a pain in the butt and the visor. And this piece here, the sparing. May not be too bad, but y'all can see where they put the stripes where the clear coat's already starting to come off. Clear coat's coming off here. They put all this on after factory. It was a conversion. And I want to pull the bed when we paint it so we can get the back of the cab inside the bed, the front of the bed, all that good stuff. The running board's probably going to be a pain in the butt to get off too. I know they are. But we got to get them off so we can get everything done right. Going to make this old truck pretty again, y'all. Whoop, whoop, get out of here, B. B trying to get me. But let's put this old cheap Baxter to work. And Baxter. Don't know much about them, but I know it's been good so far. So let's just hammer on it here, see what happens. y'all so I'm like five minutes in got all this old clear coat here off y'all see it's still clear here that's the white wherever it's white that's gonna be clear white looking anyway got all this off yes it's time consuming but it's got to be done I do not don't want to paint peeling because this clear coat lets loose and it, you know it looks good down here but I don't want to take no chances Mainly the spots around the stripes. You don't tell where they put the stripes on the truck. See that clear coat there is coming off. Clear coat here. Got a little bit of work, fiberglass work due to the fenders. It's where these uh, it's cracked here. And where this has come through, it's actually hitting a fender. So we're probably going to move that in a little bit, these mud flaps, because I do like the stainless. Once they get cleaned up, we reinstall some mud flaps on it right there. But it is hurting the fenders. And of course, fiberglass work here. And a good bath. I think it's a bath. And while I got the bed off, I'm going to go ahead and paint the frame. It has no paint whatsoever left on it. So, 
Let me just get back to it. We're gonna keep sanding away. And here in a little bit, we'll pull all the mirrors and all that stuff off. And see what we get into. Okay, y'all. Show y'all something here. Get all this dust off. Got this spot right here sanding on front of the hood. Y'all can see it's dented here, dented here. Well, it's gonna put a little mud in there. It ain't gonna take much to skim over that. But where it hit right here, it actually pushed this metal up. So you wanna knock that down. I got a hammer right here somewhere. What do I do with a hammer? Oh, hang on a second. Okay. It's not actually the one I wanted, but it'll work. I mean, it kind of dented in here, pushed up here a little bit. Just want to take and just slightly pick at. Get it down a little. Kind of massage it. You know, kind of like your neighbor does his old lady. Not my neighbor, your neighbor. My neighbors are good people. Most part. Most of them anyway. Got a couple that's way on down the road. They too good, but you know. One's close to me? Yeah, they're good people. Still a little high right there. Gonna pick that down a little bit. Remember y'all, just massage it. You ain't gotta get crazy with it. There we go. Now that's ready for some body filler. But we're gonna go ahead and get some more spots done. That needs body filler, go ahead and put some body filler in it. Let it set while we're sanding the rest of the body down and come back to it. And hopefully today, we'll get the majority of the whole truck sanded. And I wanna get all the bare metal spots painted, any body work, or not painted, but primed, any body work primed. It's not gonna be a show truck, it's still gonna be a work truck. I want to make it look better than what it is. Let's see. Hotel gate's a little rough. We'll probably put a cover over it or a bed liner. Spray on bed liner. I don't know. I'm trying to see what else needs to be adjusted. Uh, you know, like right here. We'll fill all that in, fix that. Let it be dings, you can do that too. Not big dents. You want to pull them out. Like these big dents here, big dents on, I mean that door's bad, as y'all can tell. This door's good, that fender's good, the rest of the hood's good. Ain't a whole lot of body filler gonna be on this thing, especially if we're gonna swap doors out. <coughs> this fiberglass work on the back fenders. So, let's get some, uh, out of where sand it down, get spots, down the metal where we need to put the filler, get the filler put in, let it sit while we're sanding the rest of the body. All right, y'all. Been sanding away, sanding away, sanding away. Still got to fix this little dent here. Put some mud in these dents, got them real close. This little skim coat right there, and that'll be done. Fix the dent on the bed. Still got to pull all the mirrors off stuff. The back doors we're replacing that all sanded it's a lot when you got to go through all these layers because what they've done as you can tell not sure y'all can really tell but you can see the difference in the paint there they cleared from here down when they sprayed all this and didn't clear the whole truck well this clear is what's chipping off not what's original to the truck so i'm having to take all that off get back down in black but I'm fixing to probably pull this off, pull the visor and stuff off so I can get all this sanded. Got to get the cab here, the rest of the cab sanded on top of the cab, get the roof rack off, all that good stuff, mirrors. These old gold grab handles. Whew. She's a mess in here right now. But uh, this is going to be a hot shot truck, y'all. We done pretty much got it leased on the way it was, but I didn't want to run it like that. So it's going to get a new paint job, new tires, all that good stuff. We so definitely need new tires, definitely need new paint. I mean, it's clear, just blinking off everywhere. 
I'm gonna put that back on just because I guess I don't know yeah I'm gonna get back to work and uh let y'all see me take all this stuff off this thing let's see if y'all can see still got moss up here from the trees but yeah them boats right there done poured out was going down the interstate yesterday and kept hearing something flop. It was this. Trying to pull out the roof. So I'm going to get all that pulled off. And we'll repaint it. We'll reseal it. Put all new boats and stuff in it. Oh yeah, I got to get online and get some cab lights ordered. That's what I got to do. Doggone it. Alright, y'all. Let's just get back to it. Okay, y'all. Get this fairing off. Ow, just hit my head on it. This ain't hurt. These boats come out, and so far they are. What boats they got in that? Four on this side. Four on that side, okay. I'm gonna take and clean these brackets up. If it don't clean up, I'll replace it. Make new ones. Can't be that hard. Just a little bit of angle there. Put all that hardware in it. This probably had not come loose. Of course, it don't get the pressure to it like that visor does. It takes all the wind. Oh, come on. There's one. Better than nothing. Start doing this and holding my phone too. Gotta change that back glass out. You don't tell that one's busted right there. Yep. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna be doing some hot shot with it. Hot shot with an old truck. I know it's going to be a lot of people in the comments. Oh, man, you can't do that. You can go buy a new one. No. So a missing piece of crap. Yeah, it might have more power and go faster. But you know what? I can fix this one on the side of the road. You can't do that with your new truck. Ain't no payments on it. Pay for it. It's gonna look good, and it runs great. Still ain't checked the fuel mods yet, so I'll let y'all know on that. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these bolts out. I'm gonna get this old fairing off. Got all the screws out. Time to pull it off. Let's do it. Old roof's gonna need some work. A lot of sanding. Let's see if we can get this thing off. Let me put this ratchet down. I still got a bunch of moss growing on it too. Looky there. Well, we've got a forest right here in the back of the truck. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this thing off. Oh yeah. She light. She light. Now if I can step out of the back of the truck with it in my orange hand. All right. Let's old C30, y'all. There it is. Got that fairing off. Got a lot of sanding due to it. A lot of work due to it. See how bad the bed is where it was sitting. Not that bad. It's gonna be a lot worse, but it ain't. It ain't that bad at all. All right, now it's time to. I need to get that visor off. Guess if it starts raining, I ain't just covered up with a tarp.
because they're already leaking in there but we don't want all them holes leaking so let me get the visor off so we can finish the cab get everything on the cab finish these doors up then we'll jump back on the bed yeah let's do that y'all using my little cheap old knife that my sister got me for christmas a couple years ago and it has been a dandy and i just lost that cap oh well if i won't put it back on anyway hold on i might glue it back on yeah maybe hold on we'll see see if we can get all these caps off oh about fell y'all crap guess i'll lean on the mirror uh oh uh oh someone got this one sealed on there yep maybe there we go come on yep mm -hmm. oh there it goes lost that one too that'll be okay all right let me get the rest of them off let me get this visor off y'all we ought to look at this that screws done come out and rolled there that's the one that's flopping yesterday so it pulled it plumb out and it's just been riding there so let's get these screws off get the visor off and see how bad the roof is it's solid right there. It's just that side over there. All right, y'all. Got the visor off. Old truck looks naked without it. We got it off. Still sanding on it. Got a flat I got to fix. Not sure how that happened, but it happened today. But anyway, I'm going to keep working on it. It's going to be it for this video. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to start back on it again, do another video, try to get everything primed as far as the bare metal and uh, body work that I've done to it on the body pillar, all that good stuff. And just keep, uh, keep hacking at it, y'all. So y'all be sure to stay for the journey. Y'all hit that subscribe button, like button, all that good stuff. Can't wait to get to put this old thing out there pulling loads. And then we do some reviews, you know, on using an old truck, pros and cons, what have you. For anybody interested. But, I'm going to get back to work. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow, guys.